Before we can insert and actually use any of our JT custom web parts, we need to make sure that they are activated in our JT Learn pages. Watch the following tutorial to see whether or not our web parts are activated, and if they're not, how to activate them. In order for us to use any of the custom web parts in our JT Learn, for example, Feature Builder, Class Schedule Grid, Password Reset, or the Classwork web part, we need to make sure that those parts are activated on our JT Learn pages. In order to do that, we go to site to the, go to the gear settings and scroll down to site settings and then scroll down to site collection administration and underneath that there's a link for site collection features. When we click through that link, what we're checking for are that those four different components are active. And we're looking first for JT Learn class schedule grid feature active. If it's not active, then you just want to press the activate button to, to activate that feature. We want to make sure the classwork web part is also active. JT Learn Feature Builder should also be active and the fourth piece should be JT Learn Password Reset Web Part. If any of those are not activated, just click the activate button and then they'll show as active on your JT Learn site and you'll be able to begin to um, install and use them. Good luck.